are approaching the one year mark of the arrival of Omaha's first Ebola patient. Tonight, doctors at Nebraska Medicine, they're talking with us about the ups and the downs of this year. As they tell our Joe Chioto, treating this deadly virus put Omaha on the map in a way they never imagined. September 5th, 2014, the day Dr. Rick Sacra arrived in Omaha. It's one Nebraska Medicine nurse manager Kate Bolter won't forget. She took that ride with him, watched him step off the plane. And I just remember looking and saying, why am I here? I don't need to be here and this is so dangerous. But the moment that Dr. Sacra got within arm's length, he became my patient. He would soon become everybody's patient here at the biocontainment unit, the place that for 10 years was used only for practice, but it was about to be put to the test. To give you an idea of their immediate reaction, Kate um, says this. I know that all through those 10 years when people would say, what would be the worst disease you could imagine? And I would say Ebola. It may not be my answer today, but it, it, that's what it used to be. The last part is what's so remarkable. The three Ebola patients at the med center taught the entire staff that this deadly virus could be beat. It was an opportunity to not just put Omaha on the map, but to educate and erase fear while along the way. We formed enormous bonds. Making connections that will last a lifetime. With Dr. Sacra, it was our, our Christian belief. So we would talk about that a lot. With Ashoka, his mother was from England. But you'll likely remember, with the highs of Dr. Sacra and Ashoka Mukpo's successful treatment, there came a heartbreaking low. It still hurts that uh, we couldn't do more. The death of Dr. Martin Salia is something Frank Freihout, a breathing respiratory coordinator, won't forget. We did everything we could. Um, unfortunately, the outcome wasn't what we would have liked. Ask anyone who helped in the unit and they'll admit the entire year was tough. But more importantly, it was rewarding being able to say they're part of the team that made medical history and that they were there from the very start. Pretty remarkable to think that it has been one year now since all of that began. Something else that's pretty interesting. We talked to a doctor here at the Med Center also who just traveled to Sierra Leone and he said it is very cool to see it from their perspective that they really view Omaha as a place where this deadly virus was very much explored for the first time and as a very good role model for how it should be treated. John, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, great update on what's happened in this past year. Thanks, Joe. And you can hear that doctor reflect on the past year tomorrow on Daybreak.